it has been a while since I last filmed a video. I don't know if you can hear me with the noise of the ocean because I am in Bali. I decided to follow my yoga teacher training with the Peaceful Warriors. Um, I think I initially found them on Instagram and I started following their online yoga teacher training um, because I was still working at the time. Um, and then after I quit, I saw that they had a few spots that opened up for their in-person training in October and I decided to apply and book my flight tickets and just go over there um, because I had been dreaming about something like this for so long. The training is located in Bali, an island in Indonesia, in a city called Canggu. And we had classes in this beautiful shala almost every day for a month. Hi, this is future 2023. <laughs> I am filming this because I didn't make a lot of videos during the beginning of my yoga teacher training. I think it was just all a lot and I was a bit overwhelmed by Bali. I arrived in Bali, I had a few days to <laughs> acclimatiseren. I don't know how to say that in English. <laughs> Climatize? No, that's not the right word. Okay, never mind. <laughs> and then on Sunday evening we had the opening ceremony of the yoga teacher training which was beautiful and I was so nervous because it was the first time that I would get to meet the teachers and all the other people that were in the training. We were with 34 girls, so that's a lot, but they were all very nice and I made such good friends. So we did the opening ceremony, we did this Balinese ritual um, with the prayers and flowers and the incense smoke and they like a beautiful flower thing and then we started to train it the next day which was really exciting every morning we had a yoga class at seven at last two hours and then we had break for breakfast and every monday we had group breakfast so that was really nice Philosophy classes, history of yoga, stuff like that, which were so interesting. I, I don't even know where to begin with mentioning what we all learned because it was so much. And then we had some workshops, which were also really nice. We had a yoga fly high workshop and aqua yoga, which I loved. Um, sadly, I missed the workshop on inversions and arm balances thing arm balances because I had to go to the immigration office to extend my visa so that's it but this what it is here you can see the timetable of our first three weeks we had classes from Monday until Saturday Sunday was our only day off but Saturdays were reserved for fun activities like surfing and visiting a water temple. We started every day at 7 and ended around 6.30 on most nights. It's Sunday today and I finished my second week of yoga teacher training which is crazy that it's going by so fast. Yesterday we had a day off, we went surfing or Part of the group went surfing. In the morning I went to a yoga studio because I'm not doing enough yoga already during the week. <laughs> but the yoga class is really nice. After I walked to where we were meeting, 
we surfed, it was really nice, and then we stayed at the beach to watch the sunset, um, which was so beautiful. I drank coconuts. Tomorrow we have to do 108 sun salutations. I'm gonna die. We'll stand in the circle and then every person has to teach like three or four, so that's exciting. The thing that I am nervous about is I have to write my very own yoga sequence, my yoga class. We can choose 60 minutes, 75 minutes, 90 minutes. We can choose Hatha or Vinyasa. We can choose our team, we can choose everything. So there's just too many options. If you know me, you know if I have too many choices, I get stressed and my brain is like, ah, don't choose anything. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> I just end up not doing anything. Now I have to create my sequence and wish me luck. examination day. I'm excited and it's so weird that it's already almost over. So we have two examination days. We have a total of six yoga classes with groups of five, six people. And then tomorrow evening we have the graduation ceremony and the dinner. So as of tomorrow I will be a real good teacher. It's so weird. Um, so, wish me luck with my teaching part. Honestly, one of the most amazing experiences of my life. I've learned so much about yoga, but also about myself and just about life in general. I've deepened my practice, met the most beautiful people, especially the last two examination days were so magical. You could really feel how everyone rooted for each other and how proud we all were of everyone. I felt so supported and loved. I felt confident, I felt inspired. Words honestly cannot describe it properly. I think you'll just have to experience it yourself. I'm just like, oh, I could do this, I could do this, and I could do this, and then I just end up not doing anything. Anouk, my best friend, who you know if you saw my previous vlogs, she gave me these little notes for when I was leaving. One of them had like survival tips and one of the tips was if you cannot make a decision, choose the second option. <laughs> she knows me so well. And she also wrote down things like tips for when you're constipated. <laughs> Maybe this is too much information. Living with the two of us in a small van. We have no shame anymore. <laughs> Thank you. 
<lacht> okay. Stopp.